Are you ready to have some more fun decorating your gratitude journal? I hope that you are. I hope you've been working in yours and are having fun with it. And I hope that you realize that what I do in mine is not what you have to do in yours. You don't have to. These are suggestions. You don't have to follow my examples exactly. And you may not have the same things that I have. You might not have a wax seal like this, but you might have a clock face. And you might want to put that there. So it's really up to you what you have available and what you want to work with. So let's get started. We're going to have um, several things going on today. This is the page I turned upside down because I had the leaf glued to the wrong spot. I wanted it to be at the top of the page instead of the bottom of the page, but it meant that it couldn't be facing this leaf. But that has worked out okay because I've put these leaves on this page with a pocket behind it, writing space here in a little journal card behind that just has a piece of file folder on the back. And I might add something to that. I don't know. I haven't thought of something I want to put on that yet. And it's a little tight going in the pocket. I stamped the leaves on this page. I made a stamp using this, these foam sheets. They, this kind of 32 pack. <laughs> I have a lifetime supply of foam sheets, I guess, but this is something that I saw Barbara 49 Dragonflies do. What you do is you draw a design on there and then you can cut it out with your knife or I use scissors and cut it out. And I got my design from this. This is a pack of laser cut craft icons. They look like wood, but I think they're pressed cardboard or something like that. I thought maybe I could just use this as a stamp but the ink didn't adhere to the back of it well enough to use it as a stamp. So I thought, well, I'll just see if I can make one of my own. Like I traced the design from this onto my foam and then I glued it to this piece of cardboard and just put a piece of masking tape on the back to make a little handle for it so you can pick, when you go to lift it up, it's nice to have that piece of tape to pull it up with. So that's how I did that and um, let me just stamp one for you just to see what it looks like when you stamp them. It's better when it has a lot of ink on there because it just does better. Here's a piece of paper. It's kind of, um, you get kind of inky when you're working with these stamps because they're not that precise. Okay, and that's, that's the image I got. And for these leaves, I put some red on, I put brown and red on that together, and I put gold on one, I think it was that one, I put some gold stamp pad ink on. The gold stamp pad ink is not really bright gold, it just kind of puts a little shimmer in there. But anyway, I used um, Grand Espresso on that one, I think. But it's kind of fun to make your own stamps. And I, I glued this pocket down with the postage stamps on it. I want to put this tag in this pocket. I cut this piece of index card and this piece of brown paper at the same time with the middle side. Well, not the middle. It's next to the largest. This size of the die. And I did the top part and I rolled it through the machine to about here. And then I repositioned it for the bottom part and came from this side and, and met in the middle where they um, where this overlapped to get the longer shape. This tag would only be that tall. So I wanted it longer to go in this pocket and fill up most of that space. So that's what I did with that. I'm gonna set this aside. And then I took the brown paper where is it? There it is. Um, and put it, just the brown paper. I didn't put this piece in in the, uh, in, this is the embossing folder that I used to get the floral design on there. So that's where I am right now with this tag. I have embossed the brown and glued it to the white on the back. And um, the bottom of it needs to be trimmed because it's showing just a little bit like it's petticoat sticking out. So we won't have that. Just cut that even with the other, more or less, around the edge a little bit. 
but that took off that faux stitch design across the bottom pretty much when I did that. But I guess it's just gonna have to be that way. I might put some lace or something across there to cover that up. I wanna put some fabric in the hole to make a tab on this. And I think I'll use this lace if I can get enough of it that's not torn up. Just do that. And I have some net that I'm going to put with it just to, to give it a little bit of extra fluff. Okay, I'll get it cut more or less right here. Okay. And I think I'll just, I think I'm going to bunch this up and bunch the lace up and then push them both together through the hole. I'm sorry my voice is kind of crackly today. I think the weather change has gotten to me. Okay, I think I'll let the lace kind of on the top and the knit in there. I'm just pulling it up and I'm going to put a staple in it to hold it in place like that. And see if I can do this with two hands. <laughs> this may be interesting to see how it looks when I get it stapled there. Okay, and guess what? I don't have any staples left in this stapler. Crisis averted. I used a different stapler on it and had that fixed. And while I had the video turned off, the phone was ringing, so it worked out quite well. <laughs> oh, mercy. I really like to put something on top of that right there, but right at this moment, well, maybe it could be this. I might put that little button up there. I may do that, but I think I want to put some thread through it first. So I'm going to go on with what the what else I had planned for it. And I'm not sure about that anyway. So put it over there. I think what I want to do right now is is um, add some gold to this flower. Just to give it a... I, this is one that turned out wonky. These are not even. This one's bigger than that one. But I tried the gold on the flowers, and I think I like that, so I think I'm gonna do that on this one as well. And I think I'm just gonna do that flower right there. This is um, Folk Art Metallic number 2480E Royal Gold, and it's by Plaid. And um, I'm just gonna use a little bit on my finger. Actually, I'm gonna put it on this paper, and then I'm gonna put it on my finger. I don't need much. That's probably way more than I need. More than I need, but it'll be all right. So I'm just going to lightly go over this raised part on this with the gold on my finger to make it show up, emphasize it. I probably am getting a little on the edge around it, but that's all right, too. It's just a junk journal. turn this so I can get to that without going over the paper too much next to it. Okay, the question is, is that enough gold or should I do another one? But if I did another one, I don't know which one I would do. I could do those three. Maybe I'll just do those three. Too much is never enough, or whatever that saying is. I like that a little bit. Went over the, on the edge a little far. It is a beautiful fall day here today. I don't know 
what it's going to be when this video is published because I'm filming ahead. But today is just gorgeous. It reminds me of when I was a child and Mother and Daddy listened to the farm report real early in the morning. There was a man on there. I, I still remember how he sounded and I can't, I can't make myself sound like he did, but it, he had, he, every morning he would say, it's a beautiful day in Chicago. I hope it's just as pretty wherever you are. I always thought that always made me feel good. I always liked that. So I've remembered that all these years and I'm telling you, it's a lot of years, but we won't go into that. Okay, I don't know if I made this better or worse, but it's it's going to be what it's going to be, so we'll just go with it. I don't mind that. I think that's kind of pretty. I could just go ahead and do all of them, but I won't. I'm just going to leave it like that and put my gold paint over here to keep it out of my way and find a wet wipe that's still wet to get the gold off my finger. These wet wipes, I noticed, I've been working with some stamp pad ink in black, and these wipes take it off better than going to the sink and washing your hands. And I, I guess they have some kind of, as I've said before, some oil or lotion or something in them, and it takes, it makes the black come right off, which is good to know. That is that side, and I haven't said what to do on this back. Maybe... Maybe some stenciling on there would be pretty. Um, I don't know if I have anything handy here. Um, I have some, some leaves and flowers there. It's a rose. And these leaves. And then on this side, it's just those stripes and spots. Or a feather. I don't, I don't think I want that. I think I'll think about that and just let that dry. But that's going to go in this in this uh, pocket there. I'll put that over there. I think I want to go ahead and glue down some things. And put the this pumpkin on this page. And right now I'm just gluing these down with a glue stick. I may go back over them later with some PVA glue or some white glue, whatever you want to call it. This is my messy page that I've been gluing on. It's not very attractive, is it? Okay. I just go over this very gently because this paper is not very sturdy. It's pretty thin. And I don't want to tear it. I mean, you could piece it back together, but it's easier if you just don't tear it in the first place. I guess that's true of just about anything in life. It's easier if you don't make the mistake to begin with. Okay. Maybe that's enough to put it on the page. Get it out of sight. And I just want it down kind of toward the bottom and not over those holes because I'm afraid that would just tear it. So, And then I just smooth from the inside out. And it goes on pretty smooth if you're fortunate. <laughs> that worked pretty well. That actually was better than the other two that I've done. So, I like that little pumpkin there. And this with the, um, I guess that's a faux tab. It's just a piece of book page that I stamped with my script stamp. And then while I'm gluing, I think I'm going to put that on here. Just to bring in this fabric to the inside a little bit. And I might put some on the, on the bottom of the page or something. Now, the question is, do I want to put any stitching on it? I could even take the page out and just stitch it on the page if I wanted to, but I don't know that I want to do that because I have gold thread in my machine, but I can only use it on the top with my machine because I don't know if you can use that gold thread as, as bobbin thread or not for any machine, but for mine, it just doesn't work. So I could, 
I may just sew a, a stitch down there and then glue it to the page. So I'm gonna take it to the machine and do that. Okay, I just took both of these pieces to the sewing machine and sewed a, a stitch down one side of them. I decided I'd, I liked it just a, as a one-sided thing and not have them both alike. Like each side of the page, not, not alike. This side would be that way and this side would be this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue those on with some Fabri-Tac to the pages and put that glue. I kind of fringe the edge of these two pieces of fabric a little bit, not a lot because they're pretty small. So hopefully this will work like I want it to. And I think I'm going to put um, I think I'll put the plain side on this side. Since this has a little more decoration on it, I'll just leave that side plain. And then put this side on the other side and give it a little bit of extra glam there to go with the little bit of gold that's on that page. And then the other one I had, where did I have it? Oh, <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have lost my place. Okay, did I have it on that? Didn't have it on that, didn't have it on that. I must have, had, no, didn't have it on that. Not on that. Okay, I have lost where I had it. I guess I had it on this page. I guess that's what I did. So let's see, I've got, um, maybe I'll just put it in the middle on that page, like that. Or I could put it this way. I have the gold on the back side. I think I'll do that. I don't know why. Just am. Okay, come on. My glue is getting a little bit stiff. I think it's, it seems like this Fabri-Tac, when it gets to about half a bottle, it starts being kind of, I guess it just kind of seizes up. It gets kind of gloppy. Just part of the deal, I guess. Okay. Kind of different, but I think it'll be okay there. I'm going to glue it to the other page. Okay, let's see what else. We Go back to this and see if the ink is. Uh, yeah, that's dry now. I need a little. I'm going to put that button on there, I think, and I think I may add just a little bit of gold uh, to it. I still have gold. Let's see if it's still a little bit wet. I could get it up here where you can see what I'm doing. It would be nice. If I don't like this, I can just either wipe the gold paint off of it before it dries, or I can um, use a different button. Okay. Yes, I'm going to have gold paint on my hands. Okay, that's not too bad. I kind of like that. I want some string in that, and do I have any string to put in that? Maybe I'll use this. If that's dry enough, I hope it is. 
It's a little bit messy, but that's okay. I don't mind that. I might put some around the edge of that, too. That might make it look nice. Maybe I'll do that while I'm waiting for the button to dry. Maybe get a little more paint out. to do what I need to do. This may end up looking so messy that I don't like it anymore. Hope not. Hope I still like it. Hmm. Running out of paint again. do this. Okay, what do we think about that? Is that just too much, too much? Be, but that's okay. I like it. If you didn't have um, the embossing folder, or I mean, you could use whatever embossing folder you had that you liked the design on it, but if you didn't have embossing folders, you could just use a picture of something or use a stencil and stencil a design on the cover on the on that side of the tag, and you wouldn't have to have the die cuts to make the tag either. You could just cut, cut a shape and and use that. So there are ways around not having equipment that some people have, some people don't. And that's okay. Well, I, I still have messy hands, so sorry about that. Um, I was gonna put this through here. If I can do it without needle to push it through the holes. There we go. This is embroidery floss and it's got several um, strands to it so it wants to separate. Okay, come on. Tired of, tired of fiddling with you. I want you to go through the hole, please. There we go. Thank you. Just wanted to be asked nicely. Okay. Now I'm just going to tie a bow on this, I do believe. Tying a little bow is much harder than tying a big bow. Some people do the bunny ear thing. I just can't do that. <laughs> it's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach to me. It doesn't work. But if it works for you, I say, great, go for it. Okay. Pull that down. And I'm probably going to put just a little bit of glue on that to make it stay put. I don't have to retie it anytime soon. There. Okay, finally. Um, I think I'll just frame that right there. And on this side. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to cut the long ends off because I don't need it that long. I probably should have um, tied a knot in that, but I didn't. So it'll just have to be that way. I may put a little bit of this glue on the ends of it to just kind of stick that all together. 
I just twirl it like a mustache. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to put the button right there. It kind of doesn't show up very much now. I wonder if I should put anything behind it. What should I put behind it? It's going to be back here. I guess I could put a little bit of that fabric, but that kind of doesn't go with that. I don't guess. Hmm. Maybe cheesecloth? Just a tiny bit? That's what I want. Maybe I'll do that. If I can find the end of it. I'm just going to cut a couple little squares and um, you know, I'm just going to try, try to scrunch it up together so it's not too big. And I'm going to put some glue on it. Actually, I'm going to put some glue right here. Cheesecloth on that, and then I'm gonna put glue on the button. You can see that, and put it right there. Okay, now stick down. And put some extra glue under there. Get it good and stuck. Okay, I think that can go in the pocket now. I'm getting kind of a fancy, fancy rustic something or other going on here. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, well, that's what we've got so far. I will probably still be doing a few little things here and there, but nothing, nothing too big. I'm going to do something with that still. And, uh, and, Grind your eyes and have lots of places. I'll glue that down, get that fixed. Lots of places to uh, to write. That bird came through pretty dark on there, so that archival ink is strong and it goes goes through pretty much. So I can either cover that up or I can not worry about it, or I can find something to do. If I decide it bothers me, it may not. And our little tabs. Dragonflies. I think I'm going to stamp dragonflies on this page also. And I'm going to do a postcard to go in there. But it's pretty much decorated, I think. So, thanks for coming by today and crafting with me. And I hope you're having a great day, and it's a beautiful day there, wherever you are. And I'll see you next week. Bye.